Hey everybody, it's Kathy. I've been gone for over a year and I've so missed interacting with everybody. I'm happy to be back and um, I will be uploading videos regularly. I just purchased all this new filming equipment, lights, everything. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to use it all. So if you guys, if any of you are really professional photographers or, you know, hobby photographers and know what you're doing, I will take any advice I can get because I'm having a heck of a time trying to figure out this stuff. Um, I'm obviously not very technologically minded, however you say that. Anyway, back to skin. So today's topic is one that I get a ton of questions about um, and so I wanted to just do a quick little video on it and that is the use of certain ingredients because you kind of sometimes have to choose between aging and acne. Um, they say that certain ingredients like benzoyl, per benzoyl peroxide, glycolic acid, salicylic acid, that those can sort of speed up aging. And I just wanted to let you ladies know, the ones of you who have acne, feel comfortable and safe in using those products. Don't worry about it. They are there's nothing that works as well for acne, so don't feel bad about using them. Don't worry about the aging. Um, you know, I specialize in acne, and I will tell you, I tried for years to, to not include those ingredients in my acne treatment. Um, osmosis, the, the doctor who formulates osmosis, he has never believed in using any of them. But I will tell you, I never really could get complete success without using them. Um, and that was sort of what changed my mind on these ingredients. And I have since then seen um, just amazing improvements in people by, by using benzoyl peroxide for, um, my mind is blank, that's what happens when you get old, by using benzoyl peroxide for inflamed acne, it's, it, nothing works as well. And the, the um, salicylic acid and glycolic acid are really helpful in treating non-inflamed acne. You know, that's the non-inflamed is the blackheads, clogged pores, whiteheads. The inflamed is the pustules that hurt. So in case you haven't watched my previous videos about acne. But in treating acne, I, I really, I can't, I cannot say that I, that I can be successful without these ingredients. So please feel free to use them. They're, I've never had a client that after getting their skin clear, they said, oh gosh, I wish I hadn't used those because now I'm afraid I'm going to age. Nobody looks older after their skin is clear. Nobody's skin is damaged. If anything, you know, we want to prevent acne scarring. So by all means, use what you need to use to get clear, and then you can worry about aging. Um, it, it's really not something that I'm concerned about. Now, if you don't have acne and you just want to take care of aging skin, you have no need for these ingredients and you shouldn't use them. You want to stick with a retinoid because that's still the gold standard in anti-aging. Um, glycolic, when it first became big years ago, we used to do glycolic peels on everybody. And um, we were all told that, that glycolic acid would stimulate collagen and help reduce fine lines and wrinkles. And you know what? It doesn't do any of that. So if you have just aging skin, then don't use any of these, these ingredients. But if you have acne, f feel okay doing it. So that's it. Um, I'm happy to be back. Please give me your, um, your requests and, and issues that you want me to, to talk about on video. Just write them down below and I'd be happy to, to help you with them. And I'm looking forward to being able to interact with everybody again. So take care and I'll see you soon. Thanks for sticking with me through this whole time I've been gone. I really appreciate it. Bye.